this Monday off on the right note. I would say so, with a cold one, of course. Yes. Michael and Anthony of Triptych Brewing are with us now. Good morning, gentlemen. Hi. Thanks Good for morning. being here. Thanks for so, having us. So, not too long ago, Michael and I chatted about how you guys were kind of trying to help people in Central Illinois. Can you kind of remind us what you guys were doing? Yeah, we were participating in the Resilience IPA effort that Sierra Nevada led. Uh, mm -hmm. The majority of our donations were going to Campfire Relief Fund mm -hmm. uh, for Paradise, California. And then we're also sending a percentage to Taylorville for the Taylorville relief of the tornadoes. Um, so we've gotten kind of all the numbers back from that. I think we're almost done selling all that beer. Sure. Uh, so 5,000 is going to the campfire relief and then mm -hmm. 2,700 is gonna go to Taylorville. Um, Very good. And so yeah, just donating, try to help as much as we can. We like to do the community-based kind of things. We've done lots and lots of different community nonprofit donations. Sure. Yeah, very cool. So you guys have been around for six years now, you said. Yes. Uh, and you've come up with quite a few different products in that time. <laughs> yeah, we've yeah. brewed hundreds of different beers. I mean, I think for us, um, we really weren't sure what we were going to focus on when we started. And, mm -hmm. and we kind of, a, as kind of one of the area's older breweries, we've seen a lot of trends come and go. And so we want to stay mm -hmm. relevant with our cons consumers. A lot of our craft consumers want something new and something different. And so we are happy to oblige that. Um, right now, though, one of our beers, Dank Meme, that makes up about a third of our production uh, uh, volume. Last year we did about 3,200 barrels of beer That's a lot, uh, yeah. out of our facility in Savoy. Yep. What I think is really fun is the names. So how do you guys come up with something like Dank Meme? I mean that's just... So and this one's, this one's called No Big Deal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so a Dank Meme is kind of an internet joke that's played out and when we started making that style I thought that it, the style's on the downslope and that wasn't going to be something that was going to be popular. Right. And unfortunately <laughs> I was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> and so now we find ourselves making that you know once a week. Uh, and uh, no big deal. It's kind right. of it's a it's light, no big deal. easy drinking lager. Yeah, Mike yeah. came that up with that one. That was one of mine. Yeah. yeah, really. Yeah. It's a, a beer flavored beer. It's yeah. uh, nothing too crazy. We're known for a lot of our crazy styles yes. or, or inventive styles, <laughs> but this is just a, you know a classic easy drinking lager. Sure. And then what are the other two? Because I don't even. We have a Wizard is Never Late, which is a hazy IPA featuring. Uh, That's a good name. Different I like hops. that name. And then the other one is an ongoing series called Because Stout, and the stout gets different ingredients. This one, for instance, had. Uh, coffee from Mad Goat Coffee in Danville. Um, we were doing uh, the morning show, so we thought it'd be a good idea to bring a coffee. Wow, because thank you so much. Yeah. That, that makes so much sense. Exactly. That's so considerate of you guys. No problem. Yeah. And then I know you guys always, you guys are always trying to work with local people and just kind of collaborate yeah. and also help people out. I mean, I know you said you like to do that and get involved. Yeah, so I mean, every mean? so every year we do a brew for the Humane Society. Mm -hmm. The the family that raises the most money for the annual mutt strut comes to the brewery and actually brews a batch of beer. This year, the family picked a peanut butter stout. Oh, um, we've donated. <laughs> Uh, this year we donated to, uh, was that Casa? We donated Brewmaster for a day. Right. Uh, we've donated a, 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 a thing called Brewmaster for the day where a person will come in and pick the beer and brew with us all day. Yeah, they help uh, form the recipe and, right. and come in and, and we put them to work. That's got to be a process <laughs> too to kind of get the taste right, right? Yeah. I mean, that's so yeah, hard. we typically kind of help them pick something that we would be good at <laughs> brewing at or we think we would be good at brewing at. We don't pick something just random, too random. Sure. Uh, last year we did two different beers for Japan House to help them celebrate their cool. anniversary. Um, so yeah, we're, we're, we're always good, looking so. for something to do, right? Yeah, very and good. And so where are you guys located if people want to stop by and uh, have a we're, beer? We're down there in Savoy. We yeah. have our original location on Woodfield Drive, 1703 Woodfield Drive. And then we opened up the Memory. Uh, it's available. The Memory. Uh, the yeah. Memory. I love this the house. house. Oh house my that gosh. That yeah. is our uh, production facility. And we do have a uh, secondary tap room there. Got open it. on Fridays and Saturdays and for special events. Awesome. Very well, good. We'll see you guys later. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> Thank you guys so much no for problem. being here. Yeah, so much fun. Much and thanks for giving by. back to Central yeah. Illinois. Yeah. Very cool. Right. Very cool of you. Thank you. Of course. Well, still to come, you guys, we're getting some special help with the forecast today. That's right. You're going to meet Griffin coming right up. He's our kid caster. Stick with us.